Previously on Big Brother, Kevin and Natalie made a promise to Jeff that they had no intention of keeping. If I win next week, not only are you not my target, but I won't even put you up. I cannot go up. Yeah. 100% deal. Please, Jeff, just take this bait. And Jeff fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Kevin and Natalie said they weren't going to put me up if they win HOH. According to everybody, I'm 100% safe. With only five house guests remaining, the battle for head of household began. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. And it was a slippery road to success. <laughs> Shortle. Kevin, you are the new HOH. Michelle took the loss very hard. <laughs> While Kevin and Natalie contemplated their next move. What are your thoughts, though? Yeah. Michelle tried to distance herself from Jeff and Jordan. They never tell me what they're doing, so I'm like, I've always been odd by now. And Jeff and Jordan threw their former ally under the bus. I just, I don't trust her at all. I really don't care if she goes or not. But Jeff got some news he didn't want to hear. Right, so who are you going to put on the block? I have to put up you and Michelle. Why wouldn't you put up Jordan and Michelle and keep your part of the deal? At the nomination ceremony, Kevin proved his promise was empty. I have nominated you, Jeff, and you, Michelle. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to save either Jeff or Michelle from eviction? Plus, Kevin discovers a new twist to the head of household. Should I do? It all happens now on Big Brother. Kevin, can you whack that, please? Go to Dragonfly? Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, you're safe. Thank you, Kevin. I have nominated you, Jeff, and you, Michelle. You guys are two strong competitors, and I just need to ensure that at least one of the stronger players will go home. So this ceremony is adjourned. In my eyes, Kevin's really just a snake, you know? He had one chance to show his loyalty. He proves himself to be worthless. So let's go to war and may the best person win. Sorry, Jeff. It's all right, man. I control my own destiny. I would be happy if either one of them goes. I want to get rid of the players that will beat me in competitions. When this upcoming POV happens, if one of them wins, at least I got one of the two stronger targets out of this game. Jeff, I know you won't believe me, but Natalie, if you can confirm that we You're are on board nowhere. with... You're not going no nowhere. For sure. No worries, man. It's Folk a show. If Jeff thought we were serious, then he was dumb. We were lying straight to his face, and I had no problem with that. Yahoo. Are you lucked out? <laughs> Not really, though. Because I'll be gone the next week, probably. I have to win the veto, and that means... Just, oh, it sucks. I knew without Russell in the house, I was going to be sort of a lone wolf. So I don't trust anyone. Whoever gets the veto, if it's not me, I feel like I'm going home. What nerves are like? I know yours are the same way. No, I'm not nervous anymore. I just, I have to base reality. This is how it was going to be if one of us didn't win. It sucks so bad. It's the worst feeling ever. I let Jeff down and I should have won the HOH competition, you know, because we're teammates. We should work together. Oh. Just 
gotta win. I know. I'm not too down. I feel bad. I feel like I let you down. But it's not up to you. Don't feel pressure. I, it, the pressure's on me. I'll take it. I gotta win, not you. I'm a winner, and winners win. This is what it's for. You can't just walk through. You gotta prove yourself. Now's my time. The best case scenario for me and Jeff would be me winning the POV, because then I could take him off the block, and that means that Natalie would be the replacement nominee. All I gotta do is win, and I'm in good position. Mm hmm You can step up any time and win if you want. Try your hardest. You know I am. Oh my god! What is that? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Behold the door to Pandora's box. A secret room behind your HOH bedroom. Opening the Big Brother Pandora's box could release something good or something bad upon the opener or upon the rest of the house. Gaze at the screen for a hint to what's inside. To release $10,000, put your hand in the hole. But once I open the door, my decision is final and I have to do it? What if it like locks me in there? <sighs> Big brother, I'm scared. It's too easy, $10,000 and just stick my hand in the hole? Wait, but this is not to me only. To release $10,000, put your... That doesn't mean it's coming to me. <sighs> oh, what should I do? I'm thinking that I'm gonna do this because I'm a greedy bitch. Pandora's box, here I come. Oh my, oh my God, it's a total room. <sighs> I'm scared though. What is it? What is it? Please. Ah! Ah! What is it? What is it? Oh my, ah! oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god! No, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I cautiously stick my hand into this box and suddenly my hand gets locked in. I'm half laughing, half totally distressed at this point. No! Oh my goodness! Money! Oh my god! Oh yeah! yeah. Yeah, dollar bills. Oh my god, there's money flying from the sky. Oh, it is something. <laughs> hey, Jordan, tell Kevin, come outside. Tell Somebody Kevin. tell Kevin. There's so much, Jazz, we don't even know what to do. Look at that money, dude. That's ridiculous. It's like in the jacuzzi. This has never happened in my whole life. Money was just coming from everywhere. And I'm like, wow, I've wanted this my whole life. I've wanted money to rain. Dude, um, what's up? Well, surely we can't keep it. My dad used to always say, money doesn't fall from trees, Jordan. And then now I got money falling from the sky. I'm like grabbing it as fast as I can. Dad, you're very wrong. Hey, baskets don't count. I do. What's up, man? I need a basket. <laughs> Dude, jamming in my undies. I was stuffing it everywhere in my shirt, in my pants, in my underpants, everywhere. And I know where the phrase comes, dirty money now, because it was definitely in some tight places in there. Look how much money that is. And I don't get any. 
The key to your release is hidden somewhere in the house. Jeff! Natalie! Is there a clue in here? Jeff! Are we supposed to do something? Natalie! Natalie! What are you doing in here? Natalie! What? You have to find a key! Where is it at? It's hidden in the house! In the house, there's a key that's hidden. Okay. Now I'm collecting money. Natalie, you just got busted. Imagine, guys, if it was raining hundreds. The old greedy ass is not looking for a key. I get Natalie's attention, and I tell her I needed her to find a key. I see her run downstairs and go collect more money. I bet you, Natalie, if this was Jesse bent over in a box, you would be quick to help him out. Thanks, Natalie, for having my back. <laughs> Something else is up. Yeah. Oh. As all the money's coming down, I'm figuring there has to be some kind of catch. So I went upstairs myself to check it out. Is he coming in? Oh, Jeff. Jeff! When I realize that Natalie's not gonna even look for a key for me, I'm thinking I'm screwed. So then I think, oh God, what can I do to entice him to unlock me? I'm gonna make up. Jeff! What? The only way you can keep the money is if you find a key in the house. Find the key? There's like a, there might be a big key. And it's hidden in the house somewhere. So the only way you can keep the money is find the key. All right, buddy. Greedy asses, the only way they would look for a key is if told them that's the only way they can keep the money. Things started clicking with me. I had to find this key in order to keep the money. I went and checked out a couple of rooms while my pants were full of money. I'm running around the house, money's falling out of me. Where would it be? <gasps> Bam! There it is, there it is! Now what? Where, where is it going? No, they are not. Jeff, you have to open it. I will, after I get some cash. Jeff! Where is he going? I finally convinced Jeff to find the key. I'm like, yes! What does he do? He runs back outside for more money. This house is filled with some greedy folks. Wow, that is so messed up, Jeff. Natalie! What? Can you open the door? Yeah. So what do I have to do, bring you the key? Yes. And we get 10 Gs? Yes, I have to get the key. Who gets the 10 Gs? We all do. What are you not telling me, Kevin? I'm telling you that if, okay, here's the deal. Kevin, he has it, I will have to steal the key from him. I see he has it. Okay. So just get it, release it, and then we all get the money. It's for sure, Natalie, I'm not brown. All right, I gotta try to steal it. Just jack it from him. Dude, it's at the bottom of his trash can. I know. As I'm locked up on this box, I realize that no one really is caring about me. I tell Natalie I need a key, she runs away. I tell Jeff the same thing, he finds a key but then hides it. Do these people not know that I'm HOH and I can at any moment nominate their asses and evict them? Where's Natalie? She knows something. How do you know? Because look at it. He's up to something. I'm not up to anything. Go, go, go. Get away from me. No, I don't know what it is. Dude, it's a go. It's a whole house thing. It's not for you, it's not for me, it's not for Kevin. It's for everybody. Why are you creeping by me? Do you want to know what it is or not? Yeah. Because you're not going to figure it out without me. Kevin! I got the key. You need to give the key to Kevin. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you without telling everybody else, dude. Oh my God. To release ten thousand dollars for who? Yes. So for everybody, so we all can get the money. Now Let's go. go get more money. 
I feel like a stripper and it's raining ones on me. I'm not really sure what this whole money falling from the sky thing was about, but it is so cool that it happened. Free cash. This is totally crazy and totally awesome. Dude, I can't believe this is real money. Big Brother is an individual game. No matter what alliance I have or friendships I've created, people are out for the money in this game, out for themselves. And you know what? The Pandora's box made me realize that I really need to focus on winning this money for myself. You guys owe me big. I need each of you to get in your gear and go to a different room and Big Brother will call us out in the yard one at a time. Okay. Oh my god, space suit! Oh. We are astronauts. Oh, we are astronauts, that's awesome. I've always wanted to go to the moon. Big Brother separated us into different rooms and called us out to the yard one at a time. Going into this veto competition, after that whole Pandora box fiasco where Natalie showed her true colors, I'm feeling like I really need to win this veto because it's all on me. I really can't trust Natalie at this point. Wow, this is so cool. I felt like I got transported to the moon. I mean, the backyard looked like another planet. Martians are from Mars, house guests are from Vito. It turns out that aliens used our DNA to create the ultimate space creature. Two parts house guest, one part a little green man. One at a time, an alien face will be shown on a Vizio screen. For each picture, you must decide which two house guests make up the alien. Then go to the answer board to light up the two names of the house guests you think make up the alien face. Then go to the spinning spaceship and hit the buzzer. If you are correct, a bell will ring and the next alien face will appear on a new screen. The player who correctly identifies the house guest that makes up all six aliens in the shortest amount of time will win the power of veto. But that's not all. If you finish with the fastest time, you'll get a complete high definition home entertainment system from Vizio that includes a 55 inch LCD HDTV, sound bar with wireless subwoofer, and a Blu-ray DVD player. It's time to bounce off and get that veto. Um, oh my God, Casey and... I instantly recognize it's Casey's mouth, but whose head is that? Whose eyes are that? Like the eyes are like so ugly. Is that Russell? It's definitely Casey. Is that me? I'm way cuter than this. That's Lydia and Ronnie. Jeff, and it's a girl, Laura. And Michelle! Wait, no, wait. All I saw was hair. And when I think of hair, I think of Shima. Then I saw the eyes, the dead looking eyes. I thought, Michelle, wrong. Natalie, Michelle. Oh my God, that's so ugly. Jesse, though. I had no idea it'd be house guest and horse. Laura, her big teeth. Laura's teeth were horse teeth. Um, Brayden, I think. Oh, and Russell. I don't know this one. It's definitely Russell. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm feeling like I did pretty good. I think I got first. I'm for sure I got first. If not first, probably second.
Kevin's HOH this week and I'm safe. The only way I could go on the block this week was if Jordan wanted to win the veto. So I like my odds. Let's try them all. Lydia and Ronnie. No idea. I knew it was Michelle for sure because of the nose, and I knew it was me because of the hair. We would make some horrible looking babies, and I promise America, I will never have a child with Michelle. I definitely hope Jesse and Laura never hook up another creepy looking baby. I saw Brayden and I saw Russell's ears, knew it was them two, hit the lights up, and again, I got it right on the first shot. I felt confident in my time. Cool. And I think I might come out with a victory. I really want to win really bad because Jeff has carried me through this game and I have to win this so Jeff can stay. It was kind of harder because it was an alien head with antennas. Normally, I notice everything about someone. I hadn't seen my grandpa, and first thing when I saw him, I recognized that he had new dentures. Ronnie? That's... That's me. Are you breaking? No, that's Jeff. I think me and Jeff made a cute alien. I definitely think so. Natalie. Shima? Natalie. Michelle? Ooh, who's that? Who is that? That's Jesse. And Jesse and Laura, I think. Brayden. I did great, but hopefully Jeff pulls through. I have to win this veto competition or else I'm going home. I'm pretty sure the house is against me right now. My strategy was once I hit the buzzer, I sort of jumped off. I wanted to be able to be standing next to the board and be able to flip my switches. Oh man. I think that's Jeff's hair. But then I couldn't figure out who he's mixed with. Uh, uh. And then I was like, that's my face in there. And then I'm like, wait, I think maybe it's Jordan's smile. Natalie and, oh my goodness, I think it's me. Uh, Laura and who? Seriously, Brayden, no. And then it's Brayden and, oh my goodness, Brayden, who? Who's about the Christian house? There's like a really big forehead on this Martian. Russell. Russell hasn't been used yet. Mm -hmm. Woo. 
<laughs> I'm very proud of myself. I did hustle, but then any of the other house guests might get every single one right and faster than me. So I may have lost this competition by like two seconds. And if that happens, I'm going to just curl up and cry. Going into this competition, it's win or go home. I gotta pull out a victory here. It's do or die time. When this one popped up, it was kind of obvious with the tattoo on the neck and the glasses, it was a giveaway that it was Ronnie and Lydia. Well, when the third screen popped up, obviously I knew it was Jordan in there and I couldn't get a grip on who the other person was. Where are you? I'm an idiot. Obviously, I need to spend more time looking in the mirror. That's different than show. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I saw Jesse in there right away. Whose teeth are those? But I saw some gigantic horse teeth. I came to the conclusion that Laura had some big teeth in her picture. Brain. Who you with, bro? Who's got that pointy nose? This was definitely a challenging competition for me. I tried my hardest and I knew Michelle had a good shot at this, but I take my chances, you know? Okay, everyone, let's find out how we did. Let's start off with my time first. It looks like I had a time of three minutes and five seconds. Natalie, let's see what your time was. Oh! Yes. Natalie, it looks like your time was two minutes and 55 seconds. Let's see how Jordan did. Jordan, it looks like your time was five minutes and nine seconds. Michelle, let's see how fast you did this competition. Wow! Michelle, you did this competition in one minute and 52 seconds, putting you in first place. Hopefully Jeff doesn't have a faster score than me. It's awkward right now because we're both standing next to each other and whoever loses this veto competition is probably going home. Jeff, you're gonna have to beat one minute and 52 seconds to win the power of veto. Let's see what your time was. Congratulations, Michelle. You won the power of Vito and the Vizio home entertainment system. <laughs> With this POV competition, I've shown that I am a huge competitor. And I can do this myself. Congratulations. I, I just got to win competitions and take myself to the final two. My heart dropped. Michelle, of course, is going to take herself off the block. I'm going to go up against Jeff. And that is the one thing I never wanted to see was me and Jeff to go up against each other. Good job. Thank you, Kevin. Michelle beat me fair and square. I ultimately failed. It would have been nice for Jordan to pull one out, but I'm not going to point the fingers at Jordan. I have to deal with the consequences. I'm sorry. Do you want me to leave you alone? No, it doesn't matter. Final four, you want some wine? I know you're mad. I'm really sorry. 
Ultimately, you know, I could point fingers and say I should have did this or should have did that, but you know, I'll point the finger right here. I, I messed up, I didn't win, and I'll take all the blame. I'm not gonna talk smack, and I'm not gonna go out like that. Oh. The the important thing is Jeff is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. And he knows it. This is actually kind of better because had it been Michelle and Jeff still on the block and we won the veto, I would have to be the deciding vote. I would really have been blood guilty, you know? Right. Now it's like, Jeff, you had a chance and you f***ed up because you didn't win veto. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, I have no choice. We need to send Michelle home. The bitch is strong. The one minute, 52 seconds, that's fast. No, no, it's just gonna come down the next week we have to get her out. If she wins HOH, one of us is gone. But I don't want her to get HOH, so I'm gonna fight next week 100% because I want to be able to send her home. Yeah. Oh, Natalie, she keeps saying that she's going to win next week. I believe in positive affirmation, but Natalie hasn't won anything. Oh, well. It's just gonna come down to us next week. Right. Oh, man. It hurts. You lost. It's over. <laughs> yeah. Yes and yes. Thank you. Kevin's not going to put Natalie up. And I'm going to be a replacement nominee. And of course, they're going to put me and Jeff up against each other because they're going to break us up. And that's that. Leave your white ear. Nope. Look at you drank it. Hey, it's what I wanted to tell you since I don't give a f what anyone else in the house hears or whatever is that I want you to stay and I'm going to fight for you to stay. Yeah, but how? With Kevin. Huh? I can fight to get Kevin to keep you. I feel like I'm out of options, you know what I mean? You're it's out sometimes... of options. You can't go out without a fight. I've been fighting the whole game, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's but like... you can't give up now. <laughs> if Jeff goes home this week, I'm not going to be in a strong place to win this game. With him on my side, we have the best chance to beat Natalie. we do whatever we need to do. I don't want to run around the house like Russell campaigning like an idiot for nothing. But would you rather lose. go home or would you rather at least get to the final two? Oh, I'd rather get to the final two, but I don't. he's not going to go against Natalie. All Kevin is concerned about next week is him not going home. So he wants someone that can win the HOH and win the POV and not put him on the block. Right. I hear what you're saying. I def I'm not going to go out without a fight, but I don't see how I'm going to get him to... F put Natalie on the block. No, no, I don't think that's gonna happen, no. So then Jordan's gotta go. Yeah. But at this point, wouldn't you rather be here? You didn't come this far to get evicted next week. Will you talk to him and see where his head's at? I will talk to him. He's not an idiot, so he should listen to me. I feel so bad. I feel so bad because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have made it this far. I would have already been gone. You got out all the big players. Nobody else would have. You deserve to be here over me. I haven't done anything. If you don't campaign for votes, I'm going to be mad at you. If I didn't think you would make it far, I wouldn't campaign, but you are my BFF, and you make it a lot further than me, so I think that it'd be dumb if you didn't. Well, I'll talk to Kevin. Definitely not going to throw you under the bus. I'm going to give him a scenario and see if he... I don't care if you throw me under the bus. Oh, stop. I would not do that. 
I know if you stay, I know you can possibly win, and that's why. I appreciate it. I do, for real. I'm not going to ask anybody for a vote. I'm honestly going to tell everybody to vote for you and not me. Oh, that's big of you. That's nice. That's why I like you, Jordan. You're a good person. There's still hope. Two HOHs and one veto left. Isn't that funny? There's just one veto left. <laughs> in my head, in the perfect world, the final three would be me, you, and Jeff. I think when it comes down to it, I think it could be the best move for you. Who are you using Natalie? Of all the people in the jury house, she's buddies with like a lot of people. So I think she would love to take Jordan to the end. She wouldn't want to go up against you in the end either. So having her around is definitely not good for us. Kevin should realize that if he keeps Jeff, Jeff and I can target Natalie for eviction. Because if Natalie makes it to the final two, she's going to win this game because she has so many friends in the jury house. You know, Jordan, what is she going to do? As Nothing. much as I, I, I love her and all, but I don't see her winning. <laughs> it comes down to it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go to the end and be like, by like, oh yeah, it's Jordan, mm -hmm. Jordan somehow like, got you out or you know natalie mm -hmm. picked jordan over you that's a high probability yeah i thought about it too well out of the scenarios i played in my mind the scenario that i had with you in the end was one of the better scenarios i'm putting a lot of my future in this house on natalie next week yeah she only wants you around so that she can probably discard you yeah Oh, I know, I know yeah. for a fact that that's going to happen. So would you rather have someone that sees you as disposable? Or someone that wants to take you to the end? Michelle's making some sense. It might be a better option to take Jeff and Michelle to the final three. Who knows? I need to really think about what she's saying at this point. If you had him in the house... He can get rid of other people. He can get rid of the house. on myself is the obvious choice since it guarantees my safety and a spot in the final four. I feel 100% positive that I'm going up on the block today. This means that me or Jeff are going home. I always pictured me and Jeff in the final two, always. And it definitely puts you in a really bad mood. Obviously, I'm bitter about the whole situation. You know, it sucks what Kevin did. He did stab me in the back, and I had the opportunity to get myself off the block and come right back at him, but I failed getting the veto, so I got no one else to blame but myself. Michelle is most likely gonna take herself off the block, and I really only have two choices, either Jordan or Natalie. And since we're getting close to the end of the game, this decision is super important, and it's gonna strongly influence my future in this game. Hi, everyone, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Jeff and I have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I've decided to use the power veto on myself. Kevin, since I have vetoed one of your nominations for eviction, you have to name a replacement nominee. Jordan, I'm sorry. This veto meeting is adjourned. I was really in a negative place, but somehow I turned it all around. I won the power veto, and now I'm gonna be staying another week. Kevin so wanted me out, but guess what, Kevin? You're my target next week, and you're going home. 
Michelle used what little brain she does have and she used a veto on herself. I am happy. Jeff and Jordan get to feel the wrath of being on the block together just as Jesse and I. It's looking real good for me to get into the end of this game and collecting that half a million dollars. It stinks that me and Jeff have to go up against each other. I know everybody probably thinks I'm crazy, but I want Jeff to stay here over me and I will do anything to make sure that happens. Being up against Jordan sucks. This is definitely the worst case scenario here, but it's never over till it's over. If I stay, Kevin better watch out big time. Historically, us gay house guests haven't made the best decision. So I wanted to make sure that when I have the power, I just make the smartest decision. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is huge. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Jeff or Jordan? And who will become the new head of household? It all happens live, Thursday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother.